This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today I got a treat for you guys. Three van tours, one video. Drove out to Venture Customs outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today I'm gonna meet up with Roman. Roman's gonna give us a tour of his new shop and three camper vans. So join us. Hey Patrick, what's up man? Welcome to Venture Customs. Uh, this is our new warehouse. Quite an upgrade from our last one, double the size. Give you guys a quick tour and show you three of our new builds that are in the back of the shop. Uh, this is Laura. Hi. Laura does our behind the scenes work and the consultation stuff. Uh, she can show you some of the stuff we're finishing up on the trailhead quote right now. Just working on a quick design and quote here for a client filled out the brochure, takes a couple of minutes online, and then we send that right over. So it takes me a couple of minutes. Yeah, we try to make the process as easy as possible for the customers. We've done it over 190 times, so you kind of collect all the data and figure out what people want and don't want, check off all the boxes and move on. This is our office. We got a cool little camping spot that people can chill at and hang out while they're waiting for stuff. There's a cool map with pinpoints over there where all our customers are from. Uh, some merch, you can buy a shirt and get a van for free or one or the other. Um, here is where our design work and marketing online work comes in. Dan is editing some videos right now for our YouTube channel. Uh, we have six rental vans also that, that you would be able to rent uh, Sarah is also the girl that works here and is able to get you out there with the van if you want. We have a Goal Zero stand right here. We switched over to Goal Zero as our standard set builds as well as our upgraded uh, electrical system that's a beefed up 560 amp hour electrical system that's like a stay out, get out um, system that we got. And here's our shop. Do a quick run through for you guys. Uh, it's double the size of our last one, so we're able to fit double the amount of vans. This is like the kind of production assembly line we got going here. We put everything on uh, pallet skids and prefab everything ahead of time before the van comes in for the set builds. We switched and upgraded to a six piece lawn seal marine floor. It's a marine grade floor um, that prevents a lot of issues of the click together vinyl flooring and gives you the insulation and water resistance that you would want in a van in one piece. So, and saves a ton of weight too. Everything we've done recently has been to re-engineer and reuse things to make it more efficient and lightweight as possible. This is some of our fridge getting ready to go into one of our trailhead builds. They're 12 volt compressor, so super efficient, runs off a solar panel. Microwaves, everything's RV friendly so that it's more friendly on your electrical system. This is where we laminate uh, and build some of our cabinets. We outsource our CNC cabinets. We work with a shop that builds high-end furniture. They do a really good job uh, working with us. We laminate edge band everything on that table right there. This is Randy, say hi. And these are the three vans that you're going to get a tour on. We'll run through that soon. Uh, over here, this is my little lagoon table desk. This is my office sometimes. I'm just testing out some products and buying stuff usually. This is where we keep all of our inventory stock that is not at the CNC shop. We have a ton over there, but we use lightweight plywood, Indonesian plywood, or maple fit pre-finished plywood that we laminate, glue, screw, nail together. So it makes it a really strong, lightweight cabinet. Uh, we also use high-end laminate that's really strong on our cabinets. We don't paint them so that you can always clean them off with any harmful chemicals or whatever you want, just wipes off. Just got some aluminum stuff, studs, and some fun panels that we do. This is our floor system that's getting ready to go in, as well as some of our framing. We started CNC in our framing in our vans in order to save some uh, space in the van width-wise and to improve our structural integrity of the framing and the entire build as well. If you come back here, I'll show you where we do our electrical and stage one of our build process. Here we have a guy doing our electrical. We loom and rust proof all of our holes and the wires are run through safely, the marine grade wires that are stranded wires. Uh, we use spray foam insulation and Thinsulate where we need to. 
best possible installation you could have in the van. It does not produce any gases. It's a safe, closed cell, quick react uh, foam. This is our electrical area. It's not finished. We're still moving into the shop and settling down, obviously. Um, but this is where a lot of the magic as far as the electrical boxes happen. Some inventory, windows, max air fans, a ton of air conditioners. And here is our plumbing cart. Sam's doing some plumbing for one of our trailhead builds right now, right? Yep. Uh, so we try to prefab everything for set builds. That's what helps us kind of keep some of the costs down. Customs take almost double, triple the time. All right, I bet you guys are wondering where our upholstery is done. It is done offsite at a, another location. And now what you guys are here for are three vans, quick tours. This is our Family Wanderer build. It's a standard build. It's a 159 inch ProMaster chassis, and we can do this on any chassis really, but this one particularly gets this family set up. You can have a dinette system in there that has, or that's able to turn into a, a bed system as well. Uh, as you see, you get a ton of space for activities. You can add a bench seat like we have in the other van and you can extend your dinette box. There's a couple things you can add on. There's actually a, a good bit of modifications you can add on to these builds, but this is come standard as is ready to go. You have a laminated lagoon table that you can swing up and down and left and right. You have a 12 volt refrigerator with a little freezer in there. It looks small, but I lived out on one of these, so it's plenty for us and for a Weekender, a lot of storage, everything's pushed to open, no handles, nothing to hit your head on, and a standalone water system. Simple seven gallons fresh, seven gallons gray, and you get a shower head because you can also add a pop-up shower on these builds, making this pretty much a class B van that you can fit into a small one. And this is the countertop, uh, Formica countertop. That's a bamboo, really strong. Easy to maintain this entire build series was planned around easy maintenance and super easy to get your foot into the door if you want to do van life. This is our pop-up shower setup. Our cabinetry, we're using high-end maple plywood that's pre-finished and we laminate everything once we glue, nail, screw all the cabinets together so it makes them super strong and lightweight. We put in windows into our vans. These are AMA windows. It locks and opens and you can get a buck screen. Also, you can swing out and shower outside if you don't want to make a mess inside. Our walls are painted, seamless. It gives a cozy, warm cabin vibe in our vans and we really like that. It also, you might not notice in pictures, but when you're in the van, it makes it feel big. So that's how we accomplish such a spacious feeling camper van. Our drawers are pushed to open. We use marine grade drawer slides to get the drawers to really stay in place and they're lightweight so it's pretty easy and sturdy in there. Dual dimmer switch and you have a little pad that you can control your goal zero on. You can turn everything off and on just by tapping a button. Like I said this is a really easy van to maintain. We kind of engineered it around uh, super simple simplicity and easy maintenance. Like I said, uh, we rent these vans out too, so you're able to try them out. That was the whole process behind that too. Um, we're using half inch milled down pine. It's a lightweight pine making our vans super lightweight. You're way below the, um, the limit of these vans. We're using the Lux Max Air fans that are, um, remote controlled, they open and close on their own. Back here, we have our dinette system. This is the Family Wonder, the longer 159 inch wheelbase. You get your little lagoon table that you can set up and eat with your buddy. You can also set up a little bed with this additional flip out bed piece for your buddy, just like this. And then you just put your cushions in from the back and you have a little bed. And then over here on this side, when it's not a bed or a seat, it's a massive storage container. And then on this side, when it's not a seat or a bed, it's a toilet. We have designed this box around four different types of toilets. 
So the customer can choose uh, whichever one they want, really. That gives them a lot of all the options for toilets that are out right now. Underneath the bed, we have designed our cabinets to our electrical system to maximize the storage and also to give the customers the options to set up like say l tracks all over the place you can have l tracks here here all over the place um, to strap things down you also have two seven gallon tanks that you can have it as an add-on giving you 21 gallons of fresh water that you can bring it along with you cubbies more cubbies, 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 and then you have your 6,000 watt hour goal zero. Big boy in here, and a little bit more storage in there if you really want to as well. Our beds are made out of uh, lightweight plywood that are slatted to make your air mattress breathe, and our metal tubing, that's what gives us that low profile bed platform, maximizing more space. We love storage. And up here, we have bump outs, giving you the ability to sleep a human that's longer than six feet. And you have these little reading lights that have USBs giving you pretty much everything that you need in a small base build like this. We trim off our little corners and carpet every piece of metal. We have really fine attention to detail. And then we do another Max Air fan in the back. That doesn't come as a standard, but you can always add that on. And then you have more upper cabinet storage. You could fit all your gear in here. And then back here, we also have the option to add a buck screen as well as your sliding door. So come over here, you can see the shorter wheelbase version of that build. It's the same length as a Camry, but again, we are able to fit two more passengers. You can fit a Terra Link or a Trilina toilet underneath this seat as well and you are able to replace this with a box, toilet, same thing that you saw in that van. You can also add your uh, pop-up shower that drains through the floor. It's a marine floor, so it is waterproof. Still plenty of space for being such a small van. You know, we fit everything we needed to. Little iPad to keep track of your system. You can also add a fan because this guy chose one fan and one 12 volt Sirocco fan that's in the back and that's plenty for a weekender. It's designed to throw your gear in, hit one button and head out. And same thing on your way out, you just hit one button and you're done at the end of your trip. This guy actually opted out for the l tracks under his bed. Also a ton of goodies on the outside. We'll get to that in a second. But he has two sets of l tracks a little mount for his awning, and a ton of storage. He opted out for the 3,000 watt hour Goal Zero because really that's all you need in, in these vans. That's still plenty to run induction cooktops and all those high drawing things. We did plastic panels on the back on the doors of these vans because it's usually raining at the worst case scenarios when you have your doors open. You're not gonna damage any of this build. And we can put an, a ladder on there. You can have a cool rack up top from Camel Roof Racks or one of our partners, or a sweet bike tray. That's a 500 pound bike tray that slides out. You can also add a uh, tire carrier. Some of these ProMasters don't come with tire carriers. So we work with Land and Gear to get that. We have a F85S awning that you can pull out and it's a nice little shade for you as well as adding a brush guard to keep the front of your van a little extra protection. This van, we did a trailhead build. This build starts at 55,000. You can add same things as your, as the last one, you can add your bug screen. This one has a little more bells and whistles. We have the beefier electrical system. You can run your air conditioner off the system for 36 hours or up to 30 hours, sorry. Just of those two big batteries are self-heated, Dakota Lithium. It is the best per square inch amp hours you can get. Uh, one of the benefits of building custom builds is we tried basically 190 different ways of doing every build. So we were able to figure out and collect all that data to figure out the best ways to stay off the grid pretty much. 
So over on this side is the water system. You get 30 gallons of fresh water. There's a hookup for the outdoor shower, city inlet. And then one of my favorite add-ons is our 12 volt water heater. It's from Australia and Australians really know how to camp. And one other thing to point out in this build is the bulkhead door. You usually leave it wide open for gear to go in, but this one has it blocked off. The camel roof rack up top, as well as the F45S awning, because this is a side mount awning. And this is the layout. This is a little bit extra details and bells and whistles, like I said. There's a lot more work that goes into this one, especially behind the scenes. You get a nicer kitchen, a uh, solid surface, granite style countertop, a uh, little pillar here to have your controls, a bigger sink, you get a much bigger fridge. You can store a lot, a lot of food in there. A countersunk induction cooktop and a 110 volt microwave. That's RV friendly, of course. You get the chance to choose all your laminate as well as wood and lower cabinetry. We also include the lagoon table with the granite style top. You can put the lagoon table over here as well if you want to sit back and relax with your buddies and eat over here. They also come with the Wabasto heater that you have controls for down here and also on the control panel overhead of your sliding door. This is one of our signature styles now. One of the customers off, uh, came up with the idea and we kind of stuck with it. So up here we have the 7500K Deluxe Max Air Fan and that's partnered up with the 12 volt RTX 2000 air conditioner back there. That's able to be powered by our beefed up upgraded electrical system. It's 560 amp hours and you're able to run that air conditioner up to 30 hours on eco mode. So it's a really um, robust system. This dinette system is a little different. There's a couple add-ons, a lot of add-ons that you could do with this. There's a slide out table that comes out of the underneath of your bed. And then you have your dinette bed, box, seat system, same thing we had in the other one. This is our rental, so it has a dry flush toilet. Um, it's been used a few times and it's still holding up really good. And over here, we just have more storage. And this box can actually grow eight inches and you can get a shower pan inside of this box as well. Uh, or you can just get double bench seat with seat belts. There's a lot of add-ons, like I said, if you have any questions you can go through our brochure. Up here, we have some of our insulation for the windows. They're magnetic, click in right in place, and you're blacked out. So rental van, that's a good concept. It's a try before you buy. So if you have a customer kind of on the fence and not sure what they want, they could rent one out. Yeah, exactly. It's like a rent to buy thing. So if you found your bucks, you can get off of your build if you rent with us. And this is just one example of your rental. What other types of vans do you have for your rental? Right, so we have six vans at the moment. We're gonna have a little more soon, hopefully. But every build that we offer, we like to test. And one of the ways is through our rentals. So every build that we offer, you can rent out, try out, and then commit to buying. Gotcha, so if someone needed extra seatbelts, because this is really a two-person seatbelt type van. You right. have the one with the bench seat that has four seatbelts mm -hmm. on it which is a shorter wheelbase, which would be good if you're like going downtown and there's a city. Yeah. Then you could also rent out this larger one too, which, but these happens to be customer's units, right? These aren't rental ones. Yeah, we just finished you these just up. have examples of the rentals. Yep. And one thing the viewers are gonna be curious about is like price points, uh, starting mm -hmm. price points of maybe the rental, I guess that depends on the season and the day of the week, but like right. the van bills they just saw. Yeah, so the van builds start with the Wonder starting at 28,000. This one starts at 33,000. And then this higher end one starts at 55,000. And then our rentals range from 120 a day to 240 a day. Awesome. And the one thing that I'm sure the viewers are like, come on, man, you didn't show it. I gotta yeah. check out that shower. I think it's the first time I've ever seen right. that. Right, yeah. I will show you the shower, fine. So. Because you said that a lot of your customers they actually don't always want or need the shower, but when they need it, it's nice that it's there, right? So yeah. It's a tiny little bit of work. Which one is the best one to show? They both have it, but this one has a little more space so you guys can see easier. But yeah, as 
you would not expect a lot of our customers that do get the full showers you're taking up you know a good quarter bit of your van here uh, they end up actually rarely using that shower because you end up uh, with a membership and then you end up just going to the gyms and getting a full shower there so this drains right through the floor into a gray water tank underneath the van so yeah this does end up being actually larger than the showers that we put in as a permanent shower then you get your shower curtain find your magnets these are super strong magnets there's magnets on the bottom and the top here and it really takes like I've gotten pretty good at it but once you do it a couple times it will take you about two minutes to set up once you get the curtains fully inside you have plenty of space in here you could even really you could shower you can come in with me you could shower two people in here and really save on some water because these builds only have seven gallons in the tank or you could have 21 if you really wanted to bring more tanks but yeah there's plenty of room like more room than our standard set showers which is mind-blowing Roman, thank you very much for taking the time today to give us a tour of your awesome creations here i'm so happy to see how big your company is now you've grown a lot over the last three four years yeah i'll make sure i leave links in the description so you guys can follow along on their journey this is patrick with new jersey's outdoor adventures youtube channel see you next time <laughs>